I will click and delete plot over line. Now we will plot the velocity. Go to coloring again, click U and instead of magnitude, click X value. Again, click choose preset, blue to red rainbow, close it. I will move it over here. Now we are in the last time step. We can go back to the initial time step. Go back to the next one and the last one. We cannot visualize the velocity variation inside the pipe with this view. To do that, we have to clip the plane. Click on clip plane option. And under plane parameters, give the normal as 0, 0 and minus 1. This is a normal to XY plane and our view is going into the screen. And let us give a word origin as 0, 0 and 0. Now we have done it. Click apply. Again go to coloring and we have to visualize uh, the velocity. So click on U. Magnitude, instead of magnitude click yes and just click rescale to data range. Now you, you can see how the velocity is varying inside the pipe. Near the inlet the velocity is nearly the same that the inlet boundary condition velocity and the boundary layer grows and here you can see the velocity is zero near the walls and it slowly increases and at the center the velocity is maximum. We can just get a qualitative view with the, this type of contour plot to get an exact quantitative and a result we have to again go for plot over line. Okay. Now I will delete the clip filters data analysis plot over line. We will give points so that we can plot radial variation of velocity at a particular x distance value. First we will pl plot for x equal to 0 value. So we will give 0, 0 and my pipe diameter is 1 centimeters. So my pipe's radius is 0 0.005 meters. So my y value varies from minus 0 0.005 to plus 0 0.005. Let z be in the mid plane and going down my right line resolution i am setting it as 1000 and i am clicking apply okay now we want to visualize ux value so i am unchecking p from series parameters and and check u magnitude and check ux value i give the left axis value as ux the bottom axis title as radial distance from center and XRA name instead of arc length, I will give points Y. Okay. Now you can see at the beginning, we have given the inlet boundary condition that the value is 0 0.0.05024404. 0 .0 so at the beginning, at x equal to 0 value, it is a flat line. Now we will plot for x equal to 0 0.05. So just change this 0 0.05 and click apply see now it is changing into a parabola and but flat at the center now again we will do it for 0 0.1 click okay it is it is getting more of a parabola now we will plot for point 0.2. You can see a little bit variation now for point 0.2 as well. Now we will do it for point 
yeah it has changed little bit now we'll do it for 0.28 yeah very little variation 0.29 very little variation and 0.3 no variation is there you can see the flow is getting developed that is in analytical solution the hydrodynamic development length of the pipe is calculated by 0 0.05 into Reynolds number into diameter my Reynolds number is 500 so if I calculate it my hydrodynamic entrance length is 0.25 that is after 0.25 length of x value the velocity variation will not be that much even we have been able to see that using our plot now we will export this data to an excel file so that we can compare it with the analytical solution as well as the flow end results to do that click file save data and i will save it in a folder of my choice pipe flow tutorial a csv file will be saved precision we can give it as 8 because we have calculated in open form till 8 precisions click ok now we have exported the file we can close the para view window i have already taken the data from csv file and analyzed it over here there is CFD fluent solution, analytical solution and open form solution. I have plotted graphs as well. So what I will do is in Excel, right click select data. I will now check with open form solution and analytical solution. You can see there is a very little difference between the open form solution and analytical solution if my mesh was even finer this gap would have been bridged right click again select data now i will compare my open form solution and cfd flow end solution it absolutely matches and there is no difference between the cfd flow end solution as well as the open form solution this is because we have given the same under relaxation factors tolerance values convergence criteria for both open form and flow end that's it for today Thanks for staying with us.